lovelies. So I figured today is as good as any other day to get started with some packing. And I'm very glad that you're here to join me in this because I feel like a journey is ahead of me. David and I are actually going to be vacationing to the Bahamas. Through his work, he actually won the President's Circle. And so we have an all-inclusive paid vacation that was awarded him, and it's to the Grand Bahamian Sandals Resort and Spa. I personally have not traveled much. I've only been on a plane one other time. It was just a very little short trip when I was a teenager to my grandparents. So I needed to pick up a few new travel essentials. I'm excited to show you what I've picked up. I've researched a bit on what to bring, what not to bring, how to not overpack. So I'm gonna do my best. Right now, my room is kind of a mess. I will kind of show you around. Um, um, it's normally not this messy. Right now I'm in the process of going through a lot of my packed away clothing, um, trying to sort through some th things and get everything together. But I do have a little area underneath my loft bed that I cleared out for setting out some clothing and setting out my suitcase. And I figured today we would start by sorting through clothing and outfits and shoes and getting together the obvious pieces, things that are a given. And then tomorrow we could start by packing toiletries, hair and makeup essentials, um, packing my carry-on backpack, just kind of getting those things together. First things first, we need to start to make sense of this clutter and I'm gonna try to um, bring down a few boxes out of my closet, see if we can find some clothes to put together outfits. So the journey starts here. I'm so glad you're with me, so let's go. So I decided to put my suitcase angled this way, giving a little gap, and my shoes. I absolutely love shoes, so I thought I would show you which ones I'm gonna take. I recently got this white pair of Archies. These are the most comfortable flip-flops, and you really should have a pair of flip-flops when you go to the beach. Um, just something white like this will go with everything. And then this pair of Billabong sandals, neutral, will go with a lot of things I thought. Comfy, uh, just a simple sandal because then I have heels, which is not as practical. <laughs> but I plan to wear dresses for dinner and I'm, I'm thinking on three. So a pair of sandals for each, creamy white pair here. Um, these tall silver heels. I'm planning to wear these with um, one of my dresses for the award ceremony that David's going to participate in. And then this pair, which is kind of a taupe sandal. The heel is not too high, so it should be easy to wear. And then these are new sneakers that I got. I wanted just a neutral, very comfy, neutral uh sneaker <laughs> could not find my word um, especially for wearing on the airplane on the way there and on the way home i know i'll get a lot of wear out of these and they'll go with so many different outfits and did i mention that they're super comfy because they are like wearing a cloud on your foot so then um that leads me to socks to wear with my new sneakers I was able to find a few neutral pairs of socks, which is hard to find. It took me forever to come across some that I 
like. So just going to take a few pairs of socks. I'm so excited because my very first vacuum cleaner just arrived UPS. So I had to take a little break to go get it and unbox it. I'll insert a little clip of it here. It's actually a wedding gift from my mom. So thank you, mom, for the great gift. I'm so excited to use it. So here we are. And I mean, there are just a lot of tops in here. Oh, here's one in particular that I was looking for. This kind of has like some peachy and like terracotta patterns. This is one of my um, summery vacation tropical type tops that I wanted to find. So I'm happy about that. And there should be another one in here as well. Oh, this one might be a good candidate. This one's really loose and lightweight and soft. Could be cool. Kind of has tropical vibes as well. I can always just pull out pieces that I really like that I would maybe want to bring and then decide if they are a yay or a nay. Uh, I do have another one in mind. Oh, I forgot about this top. Man, it's like Christmas going through this. Um, I got this new last year. I thought this one is just so pretty. It's a linen blend. Actually, it's not a blend. It's 100% linen. You can't go wrong with linen when you go to a resorty place like Sandals. That's probably going to go with me. Let's see. How easy is it going to be to find what I'm looking for? Hmm. Ooh, this top. This is a really pretty um, top that might be good for this time of year. This is an old navy top that my sister gave me, and I've not had a chance to wear it too much. But isn't that just so uh, tropical getaway vibes? I'm really wrinkling all this stuff up trying to find that. Okay, so I really feel like I'm going to have to just start setting some things out. There's some PJs. I'm making a royal mess of all this. I don't think there's any coming back from this mess. What's done is done. There's some shorts in here too though. What the heck? Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of tops in here that I forgot I even had. So it's, <laughs> it's always really important to go through your stuff that you've had packed up for a while before thinking you need to buy anything new for the season. Definitely um, learning a lesson here today. Oh, I found it. Whew. Very cute. Stripes. Yes. So I'm trying not to completely wipe out on all the junk that I have strewn. Um, so I have this top here that I found. Um, so I have a few tops down there. Definitely don't want to overpack. It could be easy to do because I have so many, so much stuff and I want to just take it all. But, um, I have this pair of flowy pants in this terracotta color. And so I was thinking these could maybe be worn on the airplane. Um, well, I was kind of thinking a pair of shorts, but then I was wondering what if I was kind of cool because our plane flight is in the, the middle of the, the wee early hours of the morning. But either way, I want to take long pants, something just flowy and comfortable, just in case it's cooler with the breeze on the water. You never know. You should be prepared. I think that a lot of what I'm taking kind of looks good together and could maybe be... Um, mixed up depending on the temperature. And speaking of the temperature, just in case it was kind of um, chilly in the evenings with the cool sea breeze, I wanted to have a, a few jacket options. This is so comfy and soft and you just want to curl up in it. I mean, look at how soft that fabric is. So I thought this would be very comfortable to wear um, again on the plane flight. I also have this lightweight like windbreaker type jacket. It's just light cream. It would go with everything. It does zip up. It's a little bit more cropped. So it's not that long. And the color cream would go with a lot of dresses and a lot of things easily. It wouldn't clash. And then also up here, 
These are the two thrifted tank tops I told you about. This one's dark navy blue. Some pretty little designs. See, it would really look good with white, I thought. And then this one would probably look good with khakis, but I was kind of thinking white, but khakis would work too. So it's just like, I think it was a dollar. It was outside on the dollar rack at my local consignment store. And then I have this, which it was a last minute thought, this long sleeve button up blouse, I thought could maybe be good as like a beach cover up. I actually have a few beach cover ups to grab as well as swimsuits. Yeah, we have a lot of things that we need to get together. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna go ahead and just start grabbing up more pieces that I know I want to take and setting them down under here and then we'll regroup once I do that. So things are kind of wrinkly, but um, that's okay. I can now freshen things up in the wash machine, iron them, get them all ready. Um, it's always important to try on, of course. Things may not fit you the way you'd think. They may not look good when they're on. So I'm definitely gonna make sure that I try my outfits on before I get there. So now let's go over to my dress rack. I'm excited to pull out the dresses that I want to take. a little excessive probably but um, I mean I was torn between this orange one or this blue and white stripe I thought I'm just gonna take them both I may want to wear a dress every night to dinner I don't know and there were other people in the company that won the president's circle too but David's the only one that's important <laughs> just kidding <laughs> now we need to think about swimsuits and cover-ups so all of my swimsuits are in here if I've never said it before Zaffle is my absolute favorite place to get swimsuits um, great quality just really good quality good affordability and they always fit the way they should so so I have this one here which is like this beautiful ocean water. I still can't remember how this goes on. It's like on each shoulder. It's a little different. <laughs> I really think that this pattern is pretty with the little ties on the side and it just has this rust colored top. Some of my favorite colors here. It's a very flattering top and the back is unique too. This is a really pretty bottom and I think the top that I have to wear with it is one that I already had. I think it matches really well. This is a new beach cover up. It's very pretty. This panel going all the way down. I want to bring this one. Oh and I've been researching proper folding techniques too when packing for a suitcase. So maybe I'll show you a couple of um, ideas that I had for folding. Did I say that right? folding techniques for packing. Yes, that's what I was trying to say. I also have this little sarong here, which can just tie around the waist. That's really great for just something quick to throw around you for um, modesty. And then I've worn this beach cover up quite a few years in the past. I might bring it or I might decide that one is enough for this trip. 
And since we're talking about the beach and swimsuits and swimsuit cover ups, I wanted to show you this beach tote bag that I have that I purchased that I'm going to bring. I thought it was really, really cute. I love that it's just beige. It's just neutral. I kind of like that look. Um, it does have an inner pocket for your sunglasses, your cell phone, or whatever you need to keep organized. So I'm just going to try to kind of crumple this up, fold this up, and shove it in the bag because I just feel like I'm going to need a beach bag once I get there for trips back and forth from the pool to the room or from the beach to the room. And then also this little packable hat. Um, oh, I picked up the beach bag and this hat from Amazon. A lot of the things that I got for travel, I went ahead and picked up from Amazon. Once you unroll the hat, it's not as hard as I'm making it look, <laughs> you can just um, Velcro it closed and it almost becomes like a visor sun hat. And what I love is you can just pop it on even if you have an updo, even if you have your hair up on top of your head in a bun or some type of an updo style, you can still wear it. Plus the way it rolls up into a tight little bundle, I think will go into the suitcase really well. Pretty much anything that I know about travel was first picking David's brain about it, asking him opinions, asking him questions, or researching it myself. Um, pouring over blogs and videos and seeing what others experience and what they can share from their times at, at um, all-inclusive resorts and going on airplanes and things like that, because I don't have a whole lot of experience to um, go off of. So don't be looking to me for advice. This is just um, me sharing this little journey. We're learning as we go. the mess that I have made, but I am also optimistic and confident that I'll be able to get it underway by the end of the day. And look at all the hangers that I've acquired. That's exciting. So I can use them to hang up all of my spring tops and items. And yeah, try to see if I can get this closet um, in order. Uh. day two of the pack and prep with me and so far this morning well I woke up very early which was good and I had some delicious hot hazelnut coffee that really put a pep in my step I've already gotten started on some laundry there were a few things dirty that I planned to take with me on vacation um, now I'm ready to just pick back up where I left off with packing 
So if you're ready to, let's go ahead and just jump right back on into it. So I thought that I could go ahead and just show you a few more things that I picked up off of Amazon for my toiletries and um, just to kind of organize my suitcase and my carry on. And also uh, I got a lot done last night in the way of organization for my closet and tidying up my winter clothes and sweaters packed all of the winter clothing wear away and got out all of the spring and summer items. So I was really happy that I got that all finished by the time I went to bed. My room was fairly tidy, my floor was picked up, so I just love to have my room like that before I go to bed at night. Just look at this beautiful color palette. I love it so much. Neutrals and mauves and pinks and peach and beige, tan, cream. I, I just, I love this little collection of travel essentials here. So let me just go ahead and show you up close a few things. So I got some packing cubes and I think it was a set of eight off of Amazon and they're all different sizes and shapes and can be used for different things. The one that I'm really excited about is the one that can hold shoes. I think it's this one. It can hold multiple pairs of shoes and that way your clothing and your other items stay clean when you pack your shoes in your suitcase. This is what I'm gonna use for my makeup bag. It actually unzips on the bottom part here too and you can put makeup brushes and things. Right now it's just kind of chock full of some travel essentials. This is going to be my carry-on backpack and don't underestimate this guy. This can hold so much. So I actually plan to pack a water bottle and an extra set of clothes and probably a pair of shoes and my makeup and my toiletries all in this. That way, if anything were to happen to my luggage or if there is a delay with my suitcase, I will at least have this with me. And then for a purse, I picked up this leather cross body bag. I thought it'd be great for sunglasses and cell phone and you know, chapstick and anything that you just need to have on your person. And you can wear it um, on the front of you or on your back. I picked up this for my toiletries because I wasn't sure if I could fit both makeup and toiletries in this. So just in case, I did grab this one. This actually can um, hang up in the bathroom when you're using it. That's really strong Velcro. This little pouch here I plan to use for um, electronics. So put phone chargers and phone cords and earplugs and things like that in here, headphones. I picked up this little packable travel blanket and these two little tags too. You can fill out your information on it so that you can identify your suitcase and that others can reach you if it gets misplaced. I really hope that doesn't happen. I kind of like this one. I think I'm gonna use this one. And then these are actually what they call dry bags. The purpose of them is to keep your wet clothes from getting your other clothing and your other items wet. So if we get ready to leave, but we still have wet um, swimsuits or something, we can just throw them in here and then put them in our suitcase and keep everything dry. And then here's just a cute little travel set. So we'll go ahead and fill up our uh, travel size containers with our products and our toiletries in a little bit. So I just printed my seven day cruise packing checklist. This is a list that I made a couple of years ago, but I thought that maybe it would be helpful and just make sure that I'm not forgetting anything that is obvious or essential. And I also checked the weather forecast last night just to see uh, what the weather would be doing in our destination of the Bahamas. And it looks like it's going to be quite warm and sunny and it doesn't really show any rain in the forecast so that's good but that's a great little tip to be sure and check your weather forecast of where you're headed just so that you can know better how to pack and how to be prepared. <music>
friends. So it's actually day three of this packing journey and I didn't expect that it would take three days but I've also been busy doing a lot of other things to computer work, managing my business, visiting with family. I've kind of just paced out the whole process of packing and I've had everything laid out in here adding to it, um, sorting through everything, trying to make sure that I get my essentials, but that I don't overpack. So that's really just been helpful throughout the week to kind of just do this along and along. And then I'll remember things and be like, oh yeah, and I'll just go and grab it and add it to the pile or add it to the designated area. So that's really been helpful. So packing is kind of a journey and I've just been enjoying it. I'm getting more excited with every day. I was just going to wrap up a few more things and um, go ahead and pack today. So let's go ahead and jump back on into the packing session. set aside the outfit that I think I'm going to wear on the airplane. Um, a pair of comfortable sneakers with some socks so that if I have to remove shoes, which, well, I should say when I have to remove shoes, I won't be standing barefoot um, on the ground. So I think socks and shoes are great in the airport because of that. And I just have this tank top and this pair of flowy long cargo pants, very comfy. And then I've got this zip up hoodie to take with me. And it's great because it's a little bit larger of a clothing item. So I don't have to worry about putting it in the suitcase. I'll just have it with me. So I'm very excited because do you know how much my suitcase weighs? It is only 28 pounds. So from what I understand, as long as it's under 50 pounds, it will be safe to go aboard the airplane. So I was reading up about what is allowed in a carry-on and they said that safety razors are not allowed on your carry-on. So I just wanted to uh, mention that. Now I have this razor. It is not a safety razor. It's just a standard issue disposable razor. I have one head on it and then I'm also going to bring an extra um, razor head just in case I need another. Now I believe this would qualify as acceptable in your carry-on because you can't really get the blades out into hand like you can with a safety razor. You're literally, you can literally hold the blade in your hand and it could be a potential weapon. But just to be on the safe side, I'm still going to pack this into my suitcase. I don't want to take any chances. When in doubt, leave it out. <music>
My bun is even getting lopsided. Oh my goodness. Okay, guys, I think we're finally done. I think we're finally packed and ready to go. I'm so glad that you guys have been with me on this packing journey, and I'm very thankful that you've taken the time to watch. I hope that just maybe I was able to offer even a little bit of help if you're not really sure how to pack or prepare for a trip similar to this. And of course, part of the challenge was just weeding through everything that I thought that I needed to bring and then really just breaking it down and looking at the reality of what I need to bring. It's not just about wants. It's about what do I absolutely need. Having all of the little uh, packing cubes and storage bags and whatnot really made organizing my items in my carry-on and in my suitcase so much easier and so much more efficient. I'm very excited to do more filming once we arrive so that I can show you the vacation once we return so you can see what it's like. You may someday want to visit Sandals or visit the Bahamas, so I'll be sure to document to the best of my ability. Thank you guys so much again for watching and taking the time, and please let me know if you have any questions or comments. Leave those below, and please subscribe and join me here if you haven't done so already, and just have a blessed rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!